In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Photoshop brush using a gradient, a Photoshop gradient. Now, firstly, go over to the gradient tool. There's the gradient tool there. And then you'll see a, a drop down will appear and there will be a selection of gradients. Now, of course, there's a standard set of gradients. You can use these gradients, but the gradients here are from graphicextras.com, edges pack, pack four on www.graphicextras.com. And now just got a gradient, I'm just going to select one. Just say that one. And I'm going to quickly just click on the gradient. So it actually brings up the gradient editor. And the key thing for the brush is that this is transparent at the end bit. All the rest can be physical, solid, sort of 100%. So I'm just going to go select that uh, transparency uh, stop. And you can see it's 100%. Of course, I could change that, but uh, move that along. But as long as the end bit is actually transparent, means that the gradient won't extend beyond defined area for the uh, gradient uh, brush. Right, click OK. And now just quickly draw this. And I'm just going to use a radial. Now I could use one of these ones like diamond, but uh, the radial is my favorite one for using gradients. And brushes so I'm just going to quickly draw out a quick circle and that's like I said that's why I put the transparency so basically there's no further extended gradient out here now it doesn't really matter too much but if you actually went out beyond the actual design you would end up with a discontinuity in the brush which you could use for abstract designs but I'm just going to try and create a fairly clear brush so just that's just a quick now I'm just going to create slightly more complicated. I'm just going to just draw out these designs. Now, of course, I could change the gradient at this point. I'm just going to maybe change the color. Maybe make it darker. Because the one thing about uh, the uh, brushes, of course, is it's grayscale. So it doesn't really matter about the color, but it's the actual darkness or lightness of the thing. So I'm just going to quickly draw another. Just going to do that. Draw those out. Now... Once I've done that, I can go to the selection tool and I'm just going to select the brush, region for the brush, and then go to the edit, define brush preset, click OK, deselect at that point. And now the key thing here is the actual color of the brush. So if you've just got white here, I'm just going to show white, just going to apply the brush going to select it by the brush palette so there's the brush just down here now I'm just going to apply it of course you can't see it particularly if it's white so just obviously select the color black now apply the brush of course once you've done that you could actually I'm just going to quickly clear that down quickly do another one so quickly show you again and I'm going to use the diamond one instead which I quite like the diamond one as well. So I'm just going to set again. Again, the key thing I'm just going to quickly go is that that is set to zero. Just see there. Click OK. And I'm just going to drag that out. And I've just done what I said I shouldn't do. So I'm just going to step backwards. Now the key thing is not to go off the edge of the uh, drawing. So I'm just going to quickly stay in that range. And just create a quick and now I'm just going to go and select again that whole region just that region that defined now of course if I just did define brush it would actually have all this so the www.graphicextras.com would appear in the brush now that wouldn't be much use so now I can go to the edit define brush preset click OK and deselect again remembering the color here Set the color, you could of course set it to be red. Just go and select the actual brush that I've just created, and then you can just apply the brush stroke, obviously, with the current color. Another way of changing it is via the swatches. So, great, very simple, quick, easy brush strokes using a gradients.